on here locally, a popular vegetarian restaurant and spiritual temple forced to close after a fire. Parts of Govinda's in Midtown caught on fire earlier this week, and the owner tells us she promises to rebuild. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has the newest developments. Now this is the back of the property here at Govinda's. Owners say this storage room just to my left caught fire after they believe a fire started at the nearby tire shop. Thankfully, no one was hurt as this fire started Tuesday in the middle of the dinner rush. And now the owners say this popular restaurant will be closed for at least a month. Sharon Cooksey says her husband noticed a car was on fire just feet away from where their restaurant and spiritual temple has stood since 1992. It was a crowded evening and uh, people were grabbing their plates and then running out the door and uh, someone called 911 and within minutes uh, they came but already it had engulfed so much of our storage area. That storage area is located on the back side of the property and as she continues to survey the damage, Cooksey says Tucson is stepping up to help. People have come by with the good wishes, they've brought donations, they've even cooked for us since our electric and gas is turned off. So we really had a lot of support from the community. They came and cleaned up dragging all the soot and the charred goods away and in pickup trucks and so in that sense it's been really uh, heartwarming uh, to see that from the community here. There's a sign out front explaining what happened. For almost 30 years Govindas has served vegetarian food along with welcoming the community to yoga classes and spiritual teachings. Govindas has had such an influence on Aaron Lieberman's life shortly after graduation from the U of A he decided to work and live here. It's extremely strange because we're used to bustling environment and keeping everything going nicely and people coming and enjoying the atmosphere. Cooksey says fire investigators will be here Monday to try and determine a cause. We're just so happy to be part of this community, vowing to rebuild even better and make more and more facility and opportunity for people to come learn, eat, play and dance. In Midtown, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.